We are joined now by Adam Talaferro, former Penn State football player who you may recall was paralyzed in 2000, actually elected to office in the state of New Jersey yesterday. So, Adam, congratulations to you on that. Obviously, today's news dealing with Coach Paterno. What was your reaction when you heard today that the coach is, in fact, going to step down at the end of the season? Uh, no, first, I appreciate uh, you having me here. It's, it's like like anyone else, um, you kind of kind of shocked. I, for me, you know, knowing Coach Paterno personally, and you know, especially with my story, and you know, not many people know what he did for me and, and my family, and he, he went far beyond what any head coach ever had to do for a player. And so he he's a guy you know that that I love. He's a, he's a part of my family, and uh, it's tough to see any uh, one that you care about go through these type of things. Well, give us a little more insight. What role exactly did Coach Paterno play in your recovery? You know, when when I got hurt, and you know, doctors were saying I wasn't going to walk again. I remember he came into my hotel, into my hospital room, and said, "Hey, you're going to walk again." And he didn't just walk away after saying that. He came to the hospital each and every week, um, to bring in a few players. They fly in every week, and this was during the football season. Um, you know, there's no media there. No one knew about it, but he he cared about me. 100 percent and not only him his family you know miss paterno drive down and bring cookies for me and it's just a it's just a, a great family and even to this day 10 years later 11 years later whenever i see him first thing he asked me you know is there anything i could do to help you how can i help you out so he's been a, a, a just a great person to me in my life and he's uh he's been more than a football coach for me do you believe this is the right move for him adam to coach the rest of the season uh, you know, it, it, it's hard for me to say that without kind of being on the inside. But my my main concern is uh, coach and coach along with the board of trustees doing what they both think is right. Um, like I said, it's it, 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 it's hard for me because I I've got you know I consider coach an icon, a, a legend, and uh, what he built at Penn State I don't think will ever be you know built at at another school in the in the, in the country. And I just. Uh, We'll just hope he, he goes out the way he, he had hopes to go out. And, and uh, it's, just, it's just a real tough situation for all parties involved. As someone who has worn the Penn State uniform for whom Penn State means so much, how do you feel about how the university has handled the situation? I know you're saying it from a distance, but what's your take? Uh, I, I think definitely, you know, if the allegations, you know, you know, me being a lawyer, I always – kind of wait to to hear both sides of the story and uh, and now uh, we've heard the, the one side from the grand jury indictment but we haven't heard from from coach paterno we haven't heard from from all the parties involved and i'm sure um coach as well as you know the administration have, have been instructed not to speak on it because uh you know they're still gathering facts on their end so it's um you know i i really look forward to, to hearing from coach and i know he he wanted to talk he wanted to talk about this and you know coaches he, he'll, he'll tell you he's one of the most uh, you know, truthful guys, and he'll, he'll give it to you straight. So when, when he does speak, I'm sure we'll all be able to come to our own conclusions. But, it, but until then, I, I, it's hard for me to really pass judgment because, you know, right now we haven't really, you know, heard everyone's versions of the events. But uh, if the allegations are what they say to be, it's, uh, you know, there, there could be some issues there. You were at Penn State after Jerry Sandusky left the staff, but as we know, he has remained in the area. How often did you see him around the offices? Uh, you know, I I was uh, you know, I got there in 2000 and saw him saw him in the building from from time to time. But like like you, you see so many other people that were associated with the program, old coaches, old players. You know, I graduated from there five years ago. But uh, whenever I'm up there, I just you know walk in the building, and that's the great thing about Penn State is like your family. Once you you go through there, you know basically everyone has access to the building. Not only you know Coach Sandusky, but uh, you know I'll see former former alumni up there in in the building all the time. But just like any other person I saw uh, Coach Sandusky in there and saw him working out in the weight room from time to time and uh, you know spoke to him and uh, you know respect to him as a, as a former defensive coordinator there I know he had done a lot of you know great things and won a lot of ball games with, with the team but I never thought any differently of him and just thought of him as a as old you know a football coach. You mentioned Coach Paterno and all the great things that he did for you personally how does his inactivity his inaction I guess is a better word for it in this case impact your view of his legacy you know it's it's tough for me because like i said it's it's one of those things where you you got uh, someone as, as a, that you consider family that's that's going through uh tough times you know and like i said there's a lot of public scrutiny on coach right now but i, I think in these times of, of need i'm 
coach has earned the benefit of the doubt with me. So until I hear from him and hear kind of what what actually happened, I I, I'm, I reserve my judgment, on it and I'm, I'm there to support him because uh, I know the type of person he, he was with me. How he was with other people, I, I, I can't speak on that. I don't know personally. He was always a straightforward, and he, he's been a very influential figure in my life. Adam Talaferro, congratulations on your success again on your election last night, and thanks for spending a few moments with us. I appreciate you having me. You take care.